CIETNCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 14 Practical Geometry Page 279 Part 2 14.4 Perpendiculars You know that two lines or rays or segments are said to be perpendicular if they intersect such that the angles formed between them are right angles. In the figure, the lines L and M are perpendicular. Page 280 The corners of a fool's cap paper or your notebook indicate lines meeting at right angles. Do this. Where else do you see perpendicular lines around you? Take a piece of paper, fold it down the middle and make the crease. Fold the paper once again down the middle in the other direction. Make the crease and open out the page. The two creases are perpendicular to each other. 14.4.1 Perpendicular to a line through a point on it. Given a line L drawn on a paper sheet and a point P lying on the line, it is easy to have a perpendicular to L through P. We can simply fold the paper such that the lines on both sides of the fold overlap each other. Tracing paper or any transparent paper could be better for this activity. Let us take such a paper and draw any line L on it. Let us mark a point P anywhere on L. Fold the sheet such that L is reflected on itself. Adjust the fold so that the crease passes through the marked point P. Open out. The crease is perpendicular to L. Think, discuss and write. How would you check if it is perpendicular? Note that it passes through P as required. A challenge. Drawing perpendicular using ruler and a set square. An optional activity. Step 1. A line L and a point P are given. Note that P is on the line L. Step 2. Place a ruler with one of its edges along L. Hold this firmly. Page 281. Step 3. Place a set square with one of its edges along the already aligned edge of the ruler such that the right angled corner is in contact with the ruler. Step 4. Slide the set square along the edge of ruler until its right angled corner coincides with P. Step 5. Hold the set square firmly in this position. Draw line segment PQ along the edge of the set square. Line segment PQ is perpendicular to L. How do you use the inverted T symbol to say this? Verify this by measuring the angle at P. Can we use another set square in the place of the ruler? Think about it. Method of ruler and compasses. As is the preferred practice in geometry, the dropping of a perpendicular can be achieved through the ruler compasses construction as follows. Step 1. Given a point P on a line L. Step 2. With P as center and a convenient radius, construct an arc intersecting the line L at two points A and B. Step 3. With A and B as centers and a radius greater than AP, construct two arcs which cut each other at Q. We have the adjoining figures showing all these steps. Page 282. Step 4. Join PQ. Then, line PQ is perpendicular to L. We write line PQ perpendicular to L. The adjoining figure shows the same. 14.4.2 
perpendicular to a line through a point not on it. Do this. Paper folding. If we are given a line L and a point P not lying on it, and we want to draw a perpendicular to L through P, we can again do it by a simple paper folding as before. Take a sheet of paper, preferably transparent. Draw any line L on it. Mark a point P away from L. Fold the sheet such that the crease passes through P. The parts of the line L on both sides of the fold should overlap each other. Open out. The crease is perpendicular to L and passes through P. Method using ruler and a set square. An optional activity. Step 1. Let L be the given line and P be a point outside L. Step 2. Place a set square on L such that one arm of its right angle aligns along L. Step 3. Place a ruler along the edge opposite to the right angle of the set square. All the steps are shown with the help of figures. Page 283. Step 4. Hold the ruler fixed. Slide the set square along the ruler till the point P touches the other arm of the set square. Step 5. Join PM along the edge through P, meeting L at M. Now, line PM is perpendicular to L. All these steps are also shown with the adjoining figures. Method using ruler and compasses. A more convenient and accurate method, of course, is the ruler compasses method. Step 1. Given a line L and a point P not on it. Step 2. With P as center, draw an arc which intersects line L at two points A and B. Step 3. Using the same radius and with A and B as centers, construct two arcs that intersect at a point, say Q, on the other side. All the steps are shown with the help of adjoining figures. Page 284. Step 4. Join PQ. Thus, Line PQ is perpendicular to L. It's shown with the help of the adjoining figure. Exercise 14.4 1. Draw any line segment AB. Mark any point M on it. Through M, draw a perpendicular to line AB. Use ruler and compasses. 2. Draw any line segment PQ. Take any point R not on it. Through R, Draw a perpendicular to PQ. Use ruler and set square. 3. Draw a line L and a point X on it. Through X, draw a line segment XY, perpendicular to L. Now draw a perpendicular to XY at Y. Use ruler and compasses. 14.4.3 The perpendicular bisector of a line segment. Do this. Fold a sheet of paper. Let line segment AB be the fold. Place an ink dot X as shown anywhere. Find the image X dash of X with line segment AB as the mirror line. Let line segment AB and line segment XX dash intersect at O. The adjoining figure shows this. Is OX equal to OX dash? Why? This means line segment AB divides line segment XX dash into two parts of equal length. Line segment AB bisects line segment XX dash or line segment AB is a bisector of line segment XX dash. Note also that angle AOX and angle BOX are right angles. Why? Hence, Line segment AB is the perpendicular bisector of line segment XX dash. We see only a part of line segment AB in the figure. Is the perpendicular bisector of a line joining two points the same as the axis of symmetry? Do this. Transparent tapes. Step 1. Draw a line segment AB. 
it's shown in the figure. Page 285. Step 2. Place a strip of a transparent rectangular tape diagonally across line segment AB with the edges of the tape on the end points A and B, as shown in the figure. Step 3. Repeat the process by placing another tape over A and B just diagonally across the previous one. The two strips cross at M and N. This is shown in the adjoining figure. Step 4. Join M and N. Is line segment MN a bisector of line segment AB? Measure and verify. Is it also the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB? Where is the midpoint of segment AB? The adjoining figure shows these steps. Construction using ruler and compasses. Step 1. Draw a line segment AB of any length. Step 2. With A as center, using compasses, draw a circle. The radius of your circle should be more than half the length of segment AB. The adjoining figures show these steps. Step 3. With the same radius and with B as center, draw another circle using compasses. Let it cut the previous circle at C and D. Page 286. Step 4. Join line segment CD. It cuts line segment AB at O. Use your divider to verify that O is the midpoint of line segment AB. Also verify that angle COA and angle COB are right angles. Therefore, line segment CD is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. The adjoining figure shows the same. In the above construction, we needed the two points C and D to determine line segment CD. Is it necessary to draw the whole circle to find them? Is it not enough if we draw merely small arcs to locate them? In fact, that is what we do in practice. Try these. In step 2 of the construction using ruler and compasses, what would happen if we take the length of radius to be smaller than half the length of line segment AB? You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6 Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.